Hey everybody, TrinfiniteX here with some more Tears of the Kingdom, 100%. Just got through with the Delphox raid. Now it's time to resume our journey. If you're wondering why I'm in Rito Village when I ended last time in Lookout Landing, it's because I came here to rest. in the Rito down bed and get some extra hearts and stamina. And then I forgot to go back last night <laughs> and resave in the same place. But that's fine. So, I believe, let's see, is one of these towers around here somewhere? There are some enemies near to one of these towers that I need to... There's a cap, Captain Level 2 enemy that I need to actually kill real quick for materials. And then we should be able to get some upgrades today. We unlocked a fairy fountain. Not this, that. Captain Two Construct, yes. I mean, that works too. Like, there's a bunch of them everywhere. Fine, we can go over there. As much as I love this music. Just jump up to these sky islands over here and immediately drop back down. So, uh, Valor and Gal, I'm going to call you Gal if you don't mind. Have you guys played Tears of the Kingdom? So, what do you guys think? Have you beaten it yet? Do you, do you enjoy it? Let me know your thoughts. Uh, let's see. We need skydive set for this. Such a good set. And you know what? Maybe we'll even take out that Gliark today, too. But, uh, where was it? Is it over here somewhere? Object map, tell me where it's at. Yeah, it's over next to the bridge. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I see a level four captain. Where's the level two I was promised? I mean, I'll take this level four because I want it anyway. And... To be clear... Let's set it on fire too then. So I can get more updraft, more time in the air. I didn't know they could- oh, he has a beam, that's why. Okay, let's not get hit by that. Yeah, there we go. Take this guy down. 
Stay on the move, we don't get sniped by any arrows from those guys in the distance. There we go. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tulin doing the sniping for me. My army of ghosts. Being useful. Okay, so, but, yeah, that was not what I expected. I was expecting a level two captain. So I guess I'll have to look somewhere else for that. But like I said, I'm not at all disappointed by uh, a level four, because I wanted that. Definitely wanted that. We'll deal with that in a moment. Okay, but I need a Captain Construct 2. Now, where would that be? If not there. Hold on. Captain Con. Is it I-I or two? No, it's I-I. Yep, yeah, all right. That's way far out of my way, so no. Uh, that's a bit closer, but also no. Surely there's one that's closer than that. Well, I mean, okay, actually that might be more reliable. Now that I think about it. Also, it's not that far away. We would just have to drop from over here, so never mind. Maybe we can go here. But just in case that doesn't pan out. Surely they can't all be... Oh, here we go. Here's the indicator. It says, I'm using the uh, the object map. It says, can scale up. Uh-oh. I need one that can't. Okay. Okay. I have found... Okay, I have found one that guaranteed cannot scale up, so it's guaranteed to have what I need. And it's actually right over here. And it's even closer. Fair enough, Piker. I know you're probably trying to avoid spoilers. You have a good night, man. Thank you for stopping by, friend. I'll see you next week for Mario Kart. Yeah, like I said, I'll see you next week for, for Mario Kart. Thanks for coming, buddy. Um, where? Okay, I am going the right way, right? Yeah, all right. Should be somewhere over here. Yeah, there they are. There they are. And there it is. Okay, good. I'm in the right place. I'm not crazy. Of course that's about to break. Well, let's get our last juice out of it then. Fierce Deity. Coming on up. the electric ones so we can get them higher on the list and instantly wiped out oh 
Okay. But that's a nasty enemy over there. But we will take it out. We're just gonna freeze it over and over. I feel that's a reasonable way to handle this situation. A large zone I charge too. Good stuff. Now, what were they guarding? Anything? They were guarding something, okay. What you got for me? Just a Zonite bow. Eh. Like I said, I want to replace all this with Lionel bows. So that means we need to find some Lionels. I know just where to go. Uh, but first, actually, I mean, we may as well do our duplication. Here. Hi, Minoru. So did you guys know if you wear the, uh, the Zonite set while you're riding Minoru, she gets this fancy headpiece, like the gold and the, f and the feathers. It's just like if you wear the, uh, the special masks that they they'll appear on your on your sages for Minoru it's the Zonite set okay but anyway now here's what we do we're gonna dupe these materials so I need the captain horn for upgrades, so we'll just drop them and pick them up. Then we'll do the same thing again as soon as I find them on the list. I think we'll organize it again so I don't have to worry about it. Where are we at? Here we go. And this will allow us to upgrade our Zonite set. And this will give us the best construct weapons we can ask for. Which are useful because they don't conduct electricity. Okay, and these, yeah, 35 fuse power versus 32 from the Flux Construct Core Mark III. So yeah, we can uh, we can make some better stuff. But for now. Let's dismiss Minoru. So she's not in the way and doesn't consume like 
durability on weapons or anything. And now, let's go fight some Lynels. It's time to clear out the Lynels again. We've got plenty of weapons and things to use up. And we can surely get more with ease. Uh, let's see, I've got some bone weapons in here. Well, actually, I've got some weapons that need some bones fused to them. Like this. Let's go ahead and make a few adjustments. Materials, thank you. Sorry, my brain just had to get some materials together here. Um, yeah, just one of those, three of these, there we go. So, for the Royal Halbrid, we'll do the jaw. For all of our Mighty Zonite stuff, I mean, especially this. Want, we obviously want the strongest we can get. <laughs> and this is one of the stronger fuse materials. One more for the spare. <laughs> there we go. We're ready to fight. I'm going to switch to the... Mulduga Sledge first. We're gonna switch to our Luchador outfit. And consume an attack up. Food. Under food, of course. Uh, I've got some nine minute ones. Uh, there was a Blood Moon off stream. I mean, we can still build a mech out of the parts that we have. People have built some amazing mechs and machines and things. You know what? I think four minutes and ten seconds might actually be enough for us. To clear them all out. I think we can. So let's do that. And let's make sure we have an appropriate... Bow, yes, and an appropriate place to shoot from. That was much too high. I thought that was going to... There we go. Yeah, like, we can still build mechs and things if we want. It's easy enough to do. We can build things much better than Minoru. It just takes a lot of time is all. Easy. First one down. Now it's time to drop a bunch of these useless bows that I don't want. Um, for example, 
don't feel like we really need this or this or this, quite frankly. Shields, uh, we're good on shields. We're not taking that thing's weapon, so. Just the bow will do. I wish Ascend was a little faster to respond sometimes. There's our target. Already had your invincibility up, I see. So when Lionels go into their bow mode, they are actually invincible. Oh, come on. Can't dodge that. Well, not invincible, they're unstunnable. They can't be. They can't be staggered. Just silly. They can take damage and be crit, but not be staggered. Yeah, not <laughs> not invincible. I don't know why I said that. Uh, let's see here. Yep, another okayish bow. And oh wow, Tulin just got the crit from over there. All right. Ghosts doing work. Got him. Got him before he could enter this unstaggerable state. Weapons. We've got some spares to use up. timed the backflip, but it didn't matter. Spear lines are annoying. I had to block that one. My meat shield held strong against that charge. It's some very tough frozen meat. He's gonna hit me. Ugh. All right, fine. Oh, all right. Thank you, Tulin. I needed that. Saberhorn this guy. And let's do it with the bow we've been using. I 
actually about to run out of attack buff. I guess four minutes wasn't enough. Well, darn. I still need to pick up the other guy's stuff. That's important to do because it'll all vanish if I don't do it. Ugh. It ran over me. You... You little pest. How dare you run over me. You shall be made to pay for this. Dare to trot upon me? Let's see. Uh, yeah, this setup is fine. I just need more attack up food. Um, all right. Well, we've got plenty of bananas, so we can make this over and over. <sighs> oh, wow. That is, uh, some impressive reach. Yes, impressive is the word I'll use there. But I feel like another word is perhaps more appropriate. Ah, you're playing Age of Calamity right now, eh, Sequata? Good choice. Have you 100%ed that yet? anything this this guy has to drop for sure escape up here oh no hundred percent yet I'm sure you'll get it done eventually it's not too hard to hundred percent Weapons. Well, we've got this. It gets plenty of bonuses. Let's use it. Extra bow fire from Tulin is just crazy. So much covering fire. Super worried about my Hylian shield, I can always just duplicate it again and again. There we go. That's what I want to see. All right, now. Drop this. Lots of nice shiny bows. We're gonna switch to that. Savage Lionel shield on the ground, but I don't think I have room for it or need for it. Not really.
I'm gonna throw this out. So we just got a replacement. I will continue to use this. Don't really feel like I need that. Yeah, I don't need that either. So I did find out that if you add this, the spiked armor plate, to a shield, it will do parry damage. But if you add it to a Savage Lionel shield, it'll do even more, because the Savage Lionel shield already does damage when it when you parry. So they add together. So that's really nice. There is another armored Lionel out here we could go take out, just for fun. So I believe we will. And eventually, we're going to get to the point. Yeah, there it is. Eventually, we'll get to the point where we start receiving weapons and things with modifiers already attached to them. Before we even head over to the Gorons, which, by the way, we do eventually need to do. So we can start repairing and upgrading what weapons we do have. Simple red Lionel. But the main thing, of course, is that we get the uh, energy from it. We get those crystallized charges. Speaking of crystallized charges, how many do I have? 142, I can easily buy another 100. Hmm, not too many more. We'll have another battery. And that'll complete, that'll complete our first set of batteries. Then we'll actually start getting uh, the blue batteries on top, the upgraded batteries. Now let's go over here and actually purchase what we can. We did get lots of large zonite in the process of just obtaining regular zonite last time, so... can and then we'll head over to one of these other mines we need to actually explore the depths around here anyway to get the map location so let's do that today we're just going to be cleaning out uh map locations maybe a couple shrines but mainly korok seeds <laughs> just because i'm using the delphox raid as like you know, an excuse to have today be kind of a cleanup day. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. Yeah, there's plenty of light roots around here that need, need obtaining as it is. And 
plenty of those big bows, too. Let's get what we can. And there's our next battery right there as soon as we uh, turn in. these real quick and then we will fly I need to duplicate more fans of all things one of the most common things could switch to a more yeah we could switch to something else for a pro exploring the depths let's get as much energy efficiency as we can so what are you doing in age of calamity right now squatta and what are you up to duck game you still playing around with the raid you still trying to Figure out what's wrong with your Sarah ledge. <laughs> and why it's illegal somehow. Like, there's a number of things it could be that, that could make it illegal. Does it have, like, stats it can't have or moves it can't have? Like... Make sure to check it's, like, moves it can remember too. I mean, it sh there shouldn't be anything in there that would cause that problem, but like... You may be trying to figure out why it's illegal or trying to get another one to just replace it. Hopefully from a more reliable source, maybe. I mean, I'm not too sure about that. I don't know about flying bikes in particular, but uh, I honestly suspect Nintendo, in fact, expected us to build flying machines very, very early on, seeing as how Master Koga uses a flying machine and we can easily imitate it. Pretty much any time. Yeah, I don't think they expected something as efficient as the bike, but they definitely expected flying machines. Like, they, they've they got flying machines littered around the Sky Islands, too. So, like, some form of flying vehicle was expected. I just don't think it was going to be as simple as the... I don't th think they may have expected it would be as simple as the bike. Or maybe they did. Who knows? But at least they expected something. Here's another Colosseum we can do. It's the... It's the Gibdo Colosseum, basically. It says Desert Colosseum, but, uh, yeah, don't listen to him. It's, it's the Gibdo Colosseum. Colosseum. Uh, should I stop to do it? Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? see any reason I should bother not doing it. I'm gonna make sure this is nearby so that I don't lose it or anything. And then we will do this and this.
Oh, no, excuse me. I thought it was going to be Gibdos. I was mistaken. It's these guys instead. Well, here, I want to do something I should have done during the Queen Gibdo fight. Yeah, there we go. Topaz infused weapons. Like, we should have taken a ton of damage from that Topaz explosion, but because we have the Thunder Helm, we take nothing, and they take a lot. And this very quickly cleans out the lower tier enemies. For this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we could do this. Need some more spears, that's what I really need. Could also maybe use this. Yeah, not really much opportunities for two-handed weapons like this anyway. Yeah, let's do this. Back to our Thunder Helm. Take aim. All but the silver one died. Wow. Okay. And most importantly, that gets me two more royal halberds to work with. That's really what I was after. Some good spears that I can use. Um... Yeah, let's make them Mulduga weapons. Get, might as well get the most bonus out of them we can. <laughs> eh. I'll make two of them Mulduga weapons and one of them a Silver Lionel weapon, just, just because it's simpler for certain circumstances. So. Oh, oops. <laughs> Wrong button. And then you. And you. Yeah, these are still nice because what if I'm not in a, uh, an explicit battle situation, but I need to poke something once or twice? I don't want to have to switch to the Radiant set over and over. Just to, like, poke one thing. Two things. Sheik's Mask. Nice. <laughs> I 
Let's be energy efficient. I'm gonna quickly look over here in the cemetery again. Check to see if there's any like treasure chests. Well, there are, oh, there's actual covered things. Makes sense. Here. <laughs> hey, let's not use that again, though. Let's let's uh, show some restraint. I don't feel like aiming today. Oh, I got shocked by something. What did I get shocked by? Is the explosion radius ra radius for that really that big? Uh, that's more or less what I expected right there. Oh, neat. Ooh, wow, the shock radius is bigger. Okay, so maybe these key size are actually better than the fruits you can get. That's kind of neat. Just one random hoe. Yeah, only the middle one had anything good in it. All right, fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oops. Pardon me, guys. Oh, actually, there's a bomb flying right there. Okay. Neat, I guess. Moving on. There's a Hinox if we want to take it out. It's just a blue one. Sure, why not? It would take all of five seconds. When do I finally get to see that? There we go. Just needed one more little poke. Just didn't even get to start up its music. I'll take the royal broadsword for now, but... We could definitely do slightly better than that, I feel. Depths are very expansive, but not necessarily full of things. I feel like maybe, I mean, they didn't put any Korok seeds down here. Which in one sense, I suppose is something to be thankful for.
And this is one of the, yeah, this is pretty much the only place where zonite is abundant, but eh. It just feels like there's not much else down here. They did try to put some story stuff, like the spirit temple and the stuff down here, but it feels like it's far more expansive. Yeah, there's like boss refights, I guess, but. It feels like this area is too expansive to just be. Yeah, too big and expansive to just house what little it does. Like, look at this whole area right here. We're flying over it. Because there's basically nothing in it. Like, there's a couple enemy camps if you want to farm... If you want to farm Zonite. He has a boss over there. But that doesn't take all this space. I, I guess what I'm saying is I wonder if they needed to either fill the depths with more things or if they needed to make the depths really this big, if that was really necessary. It doesn't bother me too much, really. I do kind of like it in some ways. Like, not every little corner has to have something hidden in it. But some people have made the argument that it feels barren down here. And I can sort of see their point, I guess. Okay. Just about done with this area. Just a few more up where the mountains normally are to deal with, and maybe we'll run into some bosses on the way. Like, not some not some mini-bosses or overworld bosses. I'm talking about the big boy bosses like Kolgara or something. Maybe even Queen Gibdo. I can get some revenge. That'd be nice. It's just some random holes. Okay. Very random holes. Is that really the nearest light route over there? Rocks. I guess we could take it out. Why not? <laughs> Blue white frogs. Let's get some music going here. Well, okay. I forgot to heal. That was my fault for forgetting that. But we have plenty of fairies. Like, really. <sighs> plenty of fairies.
Used up one Lionel weapon, killed one Frox. There's my bike, okay. Come here, bike. Let's get you out of the... Let's get you out of the goo. Yeah, yeah, the gloom damage instantly takes away all your... Yeah, gloom damage instantly removes all extra, all extra hearts. Which is, uh... You know, in some ways, I do think it's a little unfair. Like, maybe it could, like, deplete them at, like, double the rate of normal hearts or something, but, like... Taking them all away at once does seem kind of a little unfair. But at the same time, I, I agree that, you know, it needs to be at least somewhat punishing because otherwise the game would be way too easy. Yeah, it's excessive, but it needs to be... Yeah, the gloom damage needs to be punishing somehow, otherwise the game's way too easy. As it is, it's still too easy. If you know what you're doing. Yeah, I guess I should throw that little disclaimer on there. If you know what you're doing, it is still way too easy in a lot of instances. Much like Breath of the Wild. This is definitely harder than Breath of the Wild, but it's still easy. If you know what you're doing. <laughs> I'd like it more if it bypassed them instead of taking them away. You know what? That's a good that's a good suggestion too. Like leave the extra hearts on there, but just start damaging the regular health beneath. That could work too. That is a perfectly fair observation. Yeah, we can go with our single-handed sword with long throw for now. Until we encounter something more dangerous anyway. Uh, That's what I'm doing. Energy efficiency. I guess that's the good part of all this exploration. No reason not to fight bosses. Man, so far it is the only thing out here. Some leftover Yiga balloons. Can't grab them. Huh. Not that we would want a balloon in here anyway. Uh, all right. Go over here and fill that in. And it looks like this whole area. So, like, again, this, the map is basically this, like, Higher elevations here equals lower elevations down here. But this looks like it's filled in by water. So lower elevation, but they made it a lake. Yeah, 
heading to Rivali, the Rito warrior in Age of Calamity. Ah. So have you only, have you like only just started on Age of Calamity or something, Sequata? I thought you've had Age of Calamity for a while. I didn't think it was at all new to you. Or did you like restart or something? I guess we could go visit the Yiga and get whatever silly invention they have here. Oh, you restarted the game? Are you going for 100% this time? I have a playthrough for that if you're interested. As it is. Yeah, see? Trying to? Ah. Well, like I said, if you need any help, I've got a playthrough just for that. Reach crystallized charges. Smoke, uh, smoke rocket. Okay, it looks like a yeah a rocket, a bomb, and a uh, puff shroom. Interesting. Okay, game. Are you gonna be nice to me and let me send you this? Hey, time tree. How's it going? Thank you for reminding me. You're right. I did forget to change the category. One second. He does automatically pop out. It's a good chance to test that. There we go. Done. Now I'm in the right place. <laughs> Thank you for that time tree. How's it going? Put that sub to use and use the use your animated emote while you still have your gift sub I wish Paldea looked this nice Missing one over there. There is a boss arena over here. But I don't know what boss it is. It might not be one we've done already. I didn't see Colgara flying around, so I assume it's not that. Yeah, it's probably one we can't do yet. There's also a ton of mines around here with, like, the special DLC equipment. We will definitely have to come back for that. Later when we're actually ready to bother with it. Yep, 
Yeah, look how simple those glider planes are. Yeah, like, maybe Nintendo didn't expect us to make literally two fans and a control stick, but they expected simple flying machines. For sure. If they got enemies flying around on something that only has, like, four or five parts on it, they expected us to do it. Fans are the only things that take any power, anyway. <laughs> so, Sequada's playing uh, Age of Calamity again. What are you up to, Time Tree? What are you playing around on? Ah, you playing Tears? How's your playthrough coming along? Hope it's going well for you. You got all the sages yet? fly over that boss arena and make sure while we're on our way. It is kind of cool. Just like flying this high over everything seeing all this stuff down below. Oh no, it is Queen Gibdo. It just wasn't loaded in from that distance. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe we will kill it then. Thunder Helm on this time. No way out for you. bone weapons. Was easy. Turns out a little bit of careful distance management means I don't have to actually burn any fairies this time around. good.
free 100 charges. Switch our shield back after replenishing it. Take off. You're headed that way. Uh, if you're looking for a lore explanation, the answer is no. There's no lore explanation for why they went from zombies to bugs. The actual explanation is that this is not Eiji Aonuma. This is Fubayashi and also... Nintendo's sensibilities toward toward that may have changed in time. They may have decided that it's more family friendly for Gibdos to be strange humanoid moth-like creatures rather than zombies. They may have decided that's more family friendly. I guess. Those are my suspicions, anyway. there. Can't even see what's down below us. Well, I mean, now I can. It's mostly goop. Mostly leftovers from Ganondorf's Splatoon party. <laughs> from whatever Splatfest he was running. looks a little weird. Which side is it on? There's one last one to get, and it's over here. Okay. Not so hard after all. That looks like a... Yeah, I was about to say, that looks like a boss area. A nice big clearing. That looks like another Frox to me. <laughs> Leave my... bike alone. Oh, it's a regular Frox. Okay. could do anything. Good stuff. Where'd my bike go? Oh, it got shoved all the way over there. Wow. That frock's dying 
sent it flying. Must have been pushed either by the Frox when it collapsed on it or... Yeah, whoa. How'd you end up over here? Oh yeah. Froxes, like, if you don't... If you don't know what you're doing, they can be really obnoxious to deal with. Of course, then again, so are Lynels and everything else in this game if you don't know what you're doing. I mean, that's honestly a fair description of any enemy. If you don't know what you're doing, they're, they can all be really hard. To deal with. Like, honestly, I didn't initially know how to deal with the flux constructs. I didn't know I could just use Ultra Hand and make it so much easier. I thought I had to snipe the, the block. But on the, the level flea, the level flea, the level three flux constructs, they, uh, their block, the block is constantly warping around. So it's hard to target it with bow and arrow to stun it. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? I didn't realize I could just grab it with Ultra Hand and be done with it. Yeah, knowledge is kind of everything. Like, it's kind of like... This is going to be a weird analogy, but like, if Link is a Pokemon, he has basically super effective coverage against everything. Imagine, yeah, imagine being a Pokemon that has access to a move of every single type that's super effective against everything. You just have to actually know what you're fighting and which move to use. And that's really the hardest part. Okay, so that covers the depths down here for the Gerudo area. We fought a boss. We did things. Time to go to the surface. Did I already get that? No, I didn't. Okay, so down we go. Time to go to the surface for Korok Seeds, and if we run into any Gleox or bosses, we might take them down. So it's Mew with an unlimited number of heart scales. Uh, well, more like an unlimited number of moves. Because, like, every Pokemon can only have, like, four moves, but imagine if you could have 18 literally one of every type you would never be you would literally never find yourself in a situation where you would not have a super effective move it's just a matter of do you know what's super effective and what's not that would be literally the only thing holding you back at that point Heart scales let you relearn move. It's a joke. I okay. <laughs> Sorry, that one. I just missed that one. Did that shrine, so that's done.
I mean, hold on. Is that actually a cave back there? Because if it's a map location... Can't leave it behind. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's just part of the path. This is just part of the path. Okay. And actually, this is good. This is good, because we can use Ascend. I was just thinking that very thing. It's like I need to use Ascend to get up. So this cave is handy. Look, a random moblin. We have Majora's Mask on. So, the question is... Is it above or below? We don't need a multi-shot bow for what we're doing right now. We are going to want a bike, however. Uh... Let's go up here in order to get down on the mountains there. So Avalon, what have you been up to lately? Video game wise, anime wise, anything. How has life been treating you? Yep. Watched a trash anime last season. Oh, okay. <laughs> Couldn't find anything good to watch. I don't think you're trash, Avalon. Not in the slightest. I appreciate your company. Nope. One bomb arrow. Got Persona 5 Royal on sale, too. Comparing the base game with its remaster. All right, fair enough. From what I saw of the remaster, it looks significantly improved. Like, it's still not very good in my opinion, but it's better. Miss Guardians. The lasers were fun to parry. There's so many fun things you could do, too. You could rip off their legs and send them flying with ice with uh with cryonis and bullet time.
so many fun memories. Is this not... Oh. Is this not cold anymore? Yeah, there's no snow up here. Hmm. Okay, then. Didn't expect that. Uh, what do they expect here? Do they want... This? What are we trying to do here? Oh, wait. No way. Are we doing this? Are we making the box? Is that it? Because there's two of these. This is, the, this is the first one I've seen with two stones. Okay, not completing the box. Maybe it's the two stones right there. Lined up. Like this. Yep, that's what they wanted. Oh, Should've gave me two Korok seeds for two stones. Oh! Speaking of which. Okay, you can stop now. And it just despawned. Okay. Well, that was fantastic. A tiny pebble caused my bike to disappear. Wow. I didn't even think I was caught on it, to be honest. But I guess I was. Smart physics engine. Gotta love that. Alright, well. Oof. I could maybe tone down the brightness just a bit. Unbearable heat. Except it isn't. So they made the game a lot easier, huh? And what kind of easier are we talking, Avalon? Like, this is convenient, or, wow, this is boring now? Because I'm all for removing tedious tasks like this. For example in order to make games more fun and less repetitive. I should rock back. increased the options the player has and made the bosses less repetitive but they uh, but also less likely to damage you if you plan correctly uh huh that could be seen as both a positive and a negative giving the player more options is always fantastic allowing those options to trivialize things is maybe less fantastic
But uh, more options certainly aren't a bad thing. I guess you just play on the highest difficulty then and uh, get a decent experience. Hopefully. I mean, I don't know how much fun the game, the base game was on normal. Hopefully it's still enjoyable, to some extent. Our bike is good and can survive crash landings like no problem. Alright, and then the last one for the mountainous regions anyway. Well, no, there's a couple more over here. Dang it, never mind. Well, for this side of the mountains anyway. Trying to get the mountainous ones done first because they'll be the hardest ones to obtain in terms of like traversing the area. You've always liked Persona 3 more, huh? Personally, I can't really say I'm all that much of a Persona fan in general. trashy it looks like it is somebody down there 
but done with that. It's at this point that I wish we could just pull out rockets midair and fuse it while still riding this to speed ourselves up. Before I forget, that's right, I almost forgot. To mark the boss we beat down here. Oh look, a shrine. And it happens to be right next to a Korok seed that we were going to get anyway, so you know what? That looks appealing. <sighs> Losing my bike for the umpteenth time. Less appealing, but it's fine. We were gonna have to go into that shrine anyway. Behold the electric dragon. The electric snake. Presents itself so easily when I don't need it. Now what's in here? Upward and forward. Um, okay. Oh, am I supposed to take that and stick it on the gear and it'll turn around and, like, create a little spinny platform? Okay. Good to know that's what you wanted me to do, game. that to like create a bridge or start creating one anyway <laughs> yeah I'd have to like mess with that and do all kinds of stuff <laughs> or instead. Is there anything down there? I don't think there's anything down there. Well, I guess I can check more thoroughly then. Oh, I see where this is going, though. I like that. One second. I kind of see where this is going, and I like it. Oh, that was way too gentle. Never mind. Yeah, probably, n yeah, almost certainly not, so go ahead and spoil me if you want to.
Okay. Rock puzzle? I think it is. Yes, it is. Interesting. Again, I know nothing else. I know nothing about it, so like, <laughs> there's nothing more for me to say besides interesting. <laughs> at least at this juncture. more interesting than these Korok seeds. Korok seeds. These Korok seeds make me and a lot of other players want to think about death. Not our own, of course. <laughs> I don't 
see a Korok. Is that the camp? It is the camp. Okay. So I actually need to go over that way. By the end of what? The game? Right, he's not centered. Hold, I'm having to hold one direction to keep him on right. There is a treasure chest down here. I thought there was something weird. Just kind of sitting there. See. So the hero's in a catch twenty two. with two. takes care of everything in the mountains and outside the desert here on this side. Yeah, I'm just gonna warp. It'll save time. So the protagonist knew the knew what had to be done and knew the end of the game. But never said anything? He never bothered telling his friends, who I'm sure must have told him something else by the end. Oh, 
there it is. Fine, it's like right in front of me. Toss it off the edge. That sounds like a trade of one death for another. Is it actually a tragedy? Does it actually end like that? I've had all day. Yeah. I should rock back. another shrine which is perfect there's even a molduga for us to take out hooray for music didn't yeah it's not gonna do what I want is it? No, no explosion no dice all right Moved. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have moved. It caught me as I moved. Ah! I should have. I, I was trying to get a closer shot and forgot. That's how the Dugas work. I'll be ready for you. All right. Uh, I suppose I should.
Royal Claymore. Ugh. Not a bad weapon, but not a great one either. Oh, so he does actually die in the end, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Not a big fan of tragedies myself. Fair enough on those names for the follow-ups. We will scare them every time. There's even something nice we can get by diving into those, those uh, sinkholes. Might as well get that while we're right here, too. Armor piece. Do, do they... Do they find a way to save the main character? And resolve the plot in the follow-ups? Why am I bothering to take him off of there? Actually, don't need to do that. trying to blow me away. Stop trying to troll me, Tulin. Ah, I see. Huh. Sandstorm, I get it. All right. Now, which one of these was it again? I think it's one of the middle three here. <laughs> All right, time to get sandy. I 
think this is the right one. Yes, it is. Ancient altar ruins. Obviously, we're only going to be around here long enough to pick this up. This and, uh, the frog, of course. I'm a bad shot. There we go. There we are. I hope I don't have to actually, like, enter each and every one of these. For them to count on my map. I mean, I suppose I'll come back and enter each one again if necessary, but... Oh, I missed a treasure chest. Oh, well. Doubt there's anything in it that I couldn't just get elsewhere. <sighs> Let's go in here to cool off. Lots of mythological references then, eh? Oh, this one. This one is the one where we like, we just keep taking these balls and sticking them together and making bridges out of them. Or we could just... Yeah, then two balls to cross that one, and then... So on and so forth. Uh... And then three to cross that one. Um, is there a treasure chest in this one? Is there any spare treasure? Eh, must have been in the first room or something. Similar. Similar, perhaps. But not quite the same. <laughs> Interesting. Still unbearable heat, even with all this. I think this will be the last Korok seed I bother with today. If I can find it at all. Is there anything in the grass? Just circling around, okay. Look, it passed by when it did. Never, I would have never s spotted it <laughs> in the sun otherwise. Uh huh. Anyway, um. 
Yeah, I think that's probably going to do it for tonight. Again, sorry for starting late. But things happened that sort of got in my way. We'll clean these up on Monday or something. Hopefully life won't conspire against me quite as much. We should start cleaning out these X's too. Get those off our map. We've got a bunch of them. Some of them we can even get to really easily. Lots of treasure to be found out there. And then probably next Friday or something we'll uh, we'll deal with Zora's domain. And then next Saturday is, well, no, either Friday or Saturday. Uh, we'll do uh, Mario Kart. No, it wasn't boring, Avalon. It was mildly interesting, just like I said. You don't have to apologize. I was the one who said it was cool. Thank you for hanging out with me. All righty. Uh, I think the last thing I want to do today is probably check for some upgrades. And then I'll just call it a night. Ugh. Yep, and then Monday I'll just we'll roam around, maybe do some more side quests, collect some treasure, a few more Korok seeds. Get the last fairy fountain unlocked. There we go. That's what needs to be done. I don't want to walk. And then Friday or Saturday we'll be uh, we'll help the Zora out. <laughs> and then the other day will be Mario Kart for sure. That is the plan. Gotta write myself a note to Mario Kart next week. Um, let's see what we can upgrade. Well, oh, I'm a little short on blue nightshade. Uh, we can upgrade this to level three if we need. How about this? Uh, soldier horn three and large zonite. Oh, didn't realize I'd need it for that. Yeah, okay, so what do I need to... Okay, well, first of all, this. We have plenty. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. Level three on an armor that we are going to use mm -hmm. for battle? Yes, please. Mm. Ha. Mm. Mm. Ha. I mean, I guess we can upgrade this the glide set to tier, to tier 3. Why not? I can just dupe all the parts. 
then I guess mm -hmm. there would be no reason not to. Mm hmm. Huh? I still wish the item inventory would allow me to pick favorite items mm -hmm. instead of organizing by most used or something. Oh. Like, I wish I could just pick what mm -hmm. items I want to be huh? listed first and foremost. Mm hmm. do some duplicating. For next stream, and we'll do some more upgrades then. But for now, that's gonna do it. We'll turn in our spirit orbs. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I should probably turn in for some more inventory, too. No, I'll do that next time. But since this is where I usually go... To end the stream... Go ahead and get some hard containers. Get some more ooze out of us. Get some of our original strength back. Got to go find some more Sage's Wills at some point. But anyway, I'll take care of the rest on my own. Thank you all so much for coming. Uh, Avalon and Time Tree, Duck Game, Sequata, as well as uh, Valor, uh, Gauk, and Tomato as well. Thank you so much for your help during the Delphox raid. You all have a good night, and I will see you on Monday. Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, consider checking me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex every Friday, Saturday, and Monday. I'd love to meet you. The details will be down below in the description. Also, subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and a comment on what game you'd like to see next or what you think of my content, I'd be happy to hear from you. As always, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you around.